Thank you so much for tuning in to List It Live, where we give you a guided tour of the hottest homes for sale in San Diego. Look who I got in the house. I have Aish Betts joining me again. Hey, I'm back. You can't keep me away. No, but clearly not enough time in here because you're always out selling properties, <laughs> right? You, you got know, so many properties, I, so let's talk I, yeah. about this one. Yeah, no, I'm super excited to come on about this one. 3051 so 2nd Avenue, Bankers Hill. You know, what I love the most about this property is you're really buying into a slice of San Diego. This is classic California craftsman built in 1909. Oh. No so way. it really embodies everything that California is all about. Another amazing historic aspect about this property is that this um, this land is the original acreage that was owned and subdivided by Alonzo Horton, who is the father of San Diego. So you're really buying into the fiber of San Diego's history wow. with this house. If only Wells could talk. Yeah, right? Okay. Yeah, just such a rich history um, in beautiful Bankers Hill. Um, especially this part of Bankers Hill by 2nd Avenue, it's surrounded by canyons and dead end streets. So it really offers a lot of privacy. And so you have this tranquil, tranquil little oasis um, in this historic property um, surrounded by other architecturally significant and historic homes um, in just like the most beautiful part of Bankers Hill. You're steps away from the Queen Street Bridge. You're steps away from Balboa Park, obviously. Yeah. Um, what's really amazing is that this little pocket of Bankers Hill is going to be, you know, right next door to all the development that's going on on 5th and 6th. So you're going to have a pocket of high density housing there and literally steps from that you have this quiet little oasis of yours with beautiful original features. Um, because it's an older home, classic craftsman, it offers many of those features that a lot of these buyers love in these houses. You have original um, glass uh, wood frame pocket doors. Okay. You can see the original flooring here. Uh, it's pine and oak wood throughout the house. That's original, that's beautiful. Yeah, it's original. It, it offers a canvas for someone to come in and update the property um, and add their own touch to it, but it's all within this amazing, you know, historically significant house here. Um, another thing that I really like about this property is obviously it offers a blank canvas for someone to come in and restore it and bring it back to its full glory. It also offers a lot of utility from potentially, you know, adding um, living space to this and more importantly, splitting the house and adding another unit to it without really altering the floor plan. So okay. within the existing floor plan, you can split this house because it's such a large square footage, yeah. you can split it and make a secondary unit. Both would have independent access, um, independent outdoor space, which there's a lot of outdoor space. There's a beautiful outdoor gazebo and a, a dining area. So you'll have access to all of that, but you can also add utility to, uh, to your numbers, which are extremely important these days, yes. and have a second unit in here. Um, okay, that's so really nice to have for added income. Absolutely, right. yeah, it'd be a large living space. It's, um, it's a 3-2 right now, and so there's potential to split it then. And yeah, you can see kind of, you know, this original feature in the living area, for example, this is really hard to find these days um, in a house this size in this, in this location. Right. Um, and, and, you know, that's really what this house offers is sort of a time capsule that you can preserve and bring back and have the original charm of 1909 San Diego. I know. Um, right by Balboa Park. And it would be much to update if somebody wanted to come in. You already have the gorgeous flooring. I mean, you already got the neutral colored paint. Uh, it's a very open craftsman style ship home. Um, but if you added a couple of your modern features to it, mm -hmm. which you wouldn't, you don't even have to do yeah. that as turnkey, but you've easily done with still holding that. Uh, yeah. nostalgia feeling absolutely right? right and you can you can go you know as um, as modern as you want and you can preserve as much as you want it really has a lot of the original features the previous owners did do a lot of uh, legwork in terms of you know adding a new roof and a few other improvements oh, so okay, it is it is coming with some improvements in there uh, but really you know the it, it really is an opportunity for someone to uh, mold this property um, you know into their lifestyle oh, yeah. Um, while keeping that original aspect of it still alive right. in, in Bankers Hill. I mean, right. you know, I, I personally love Bankers Hill. It's one of my favorite neighborhoods. It's one of the more happening neighborhoods right now in San Diego, but I think over the next few years as 5th and 6th are developed, it's going to be probably one of the most happening neighborhoods, especially with it connecting, you know, Hillcrest, Mission Hills, all the way to Little Italy. That whole corridor is going to be really popular, and you're going to be steps away from it 
in this quiet little tranquil home um, that's, a, you know, minutes from really everything. You right. can walk to Little Italy if you want from here. Right. Uh, it's a walk I've done many times. And so um, I just love the location and I love the opportunity that this house presents. Me too. And get in now because like you said, if that's building up, you know that the prices in that area are going to continue to rise. So yeah. get in now while you can. Yeah. But while everything's still developing because it's just going to get better and better, right? Yeah, you know, interestingly, this house like the actually the... Uh, the sellers had it appraised right before it went on the market, so it's currently priced below the appraised value as well. So, you know, it's it's an it's an amazing opportunity. Yeah. You just need someone with vision yeah. um, that can really come in and put, um, you know, the few touches that are yeah, needed. Yeah, just few. You don't need much vision. I mean, it's turnkey ready to go now. It's just that yeah. you wanted to add, just modernize it a little bit. Yeah, but if you're watching this, I think, you know, you probably have a few minutes to act on this because I think May is about to write an offer and scoop yeah. this up. <laughs> you can hear it in my tone, <laughs> can't you? You can hear it. I'm like, this but is for great. for everyone else out there, you might have a day or two. <laughs> maybe. Yeah, maybe a day yeah. or two. I love this right here. Yeah, so this is um, an enclosed yeah. sunroom sort of area here. Oh, that's great. Um, and then just outside of it is a sort of sitting area, like a gazebo area to the right. Um, the indoor aspect, uh, indoor outdoor aspect of this is really great. Right, which is what we like to live. Right, do you live in when we live in San Diego? Especially in a very quiet neighborhood yeah. where you can really sort of unwind and relax, um, and that corner is really private as well, so you can sort of really um, zone out after a busy day. Right, it is such a great home. You've got the privacy with that adorable fence in the front yard. I love that picket fence. Beautiful. The home. color of the house is yeah. so pretty too. The exterior. Yeah, classic it's, California. Yeah, it is a, definitely a classic California house. You said it perfectly. Um, are you going to hold it open anytime soon? Um, we don't have it open this weekend. It is vacant, though. That's so easily So showing. it's very easy to show. Uh, you can reach out to myself or Ken. Um, we'll set it up. Really easy to see. Um, uh, you know, we make it super easy. And yeah, just, just a great house. Yeah. Um, reach out and, and we can set something up. It is fantastic. Well, thanks for sharing this adorable property. I love it. And like you said, there's competition out there because I, they can tell that <laughs> I really coming. like it. That's right. So Aisha's got this property located at 3051 Second Avenue in the Bankers Hill area of town. Such a booming area of town. Get in now, in my opinion. It's a hot place to be. Three beds, two baths at 2,065 square feet of living. Built in 1909, which is really cool because you can hold that character. And yeah. if you could say that gentleman's name again, that piece, the, the land he owns. Alonzo owned. Horton. Alonzo Horton, like yeah. the, founding, the founder yeah, of the, San Diego, yeah. right? Amazing. Great long driveway for ample parking, I noticed. Uh, it's got surrounded with canyons and on a dead end street. So you've yeah. got that quiet, peaceful yeah. feel, right? Which and is great. And if you split it up into two units, that driveway really lends itself to right. the parking issue. So, right. you, you know, if you rent it out or if you sell it, the owners or tenants, no issues with parking. Right, you've got Although street parking is really ample there, but, you know, uh, if, you, if it was a tight spot, easily supports five or six cars on that driveway. Yeah, easily. It's yeah. such a great, great long driveway. Uh, it's a classic craftsmanship type home. Gorgeous, like he said, very flexible if you want to uh, make that into a split it and make yeah. it into two units so you could use that as really easy. income, extra yeah. income if you wanted Independent to. Independent access for both houses. Really expensive floor plans for both, um, even if you split it. Right, great size. Uh, gorgeous original hardwood flooring. It looked new to me in the pictures, at least. Very <laughs> nice flooring. Yeah. Um, and like we said, um, very close to Balboa Park, close to everything in my opinion, walking distance, yeah. which is nice, but yet you've got this little private parcel out to yourself, an uh, outdoor gazebo on the exterior, a new roof, so many things about this great house at a great price point. So if you'd like some more information, please contact Ayush or Ken with the information provided on the screen.